Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to continue in the Complete Apocrypha, and we are in chapter 29 in the Book of Jubilees. And it came to pass when Rachel had bore Joseph that Laban went to shear his sheep for they were distant from him a three days' journey. And Jacob saw that Laban was going to shear his sheep. And Jacob called Leah and Rachel, and spoke kindly unto them, that they should come with him to the land of Canaan. For he told them how he had seen everything in a dream, even all that he had spoken unto him, that he should return to his father's house. And they said, to every place where you go, we will go with you. And Jacob blessed the God of Israel, his father, and the God of Abraham, his father's father. And he arose and mounted his wives and his children, and took all his possessions, and crossed the river, and came to the land of Gilead. And Jacob hid his intention from Laban, and told him not. And in the seventh year of the fourth week, Jacob turned, his face toward Gilead in the first month, on the twenty-first thereof. And Laban pursued after him and overtook Jacob in the mountain of Gilead in the third month, on the thirteenth thereof. And the Lord did not suffer him to injure Jacob, for he appeared to him in a dream by night. And Laban spoke to Jacob. And on the fifteenth of those days Jacob made a feast for Laban, and for all who came with him. And Jacob swore to Laban that day, and Laban also to Jacob, that neither should cross the mountain of Gilead to the other with evil purpose. And he made there a heap for a witness. For that reason the name of that place is called the heap of witness. After this heap, but before they used to call the land of Gilead the land of Rephaim, for it was the land of Rephaim, and the Rephaim were born there, giants, whose height was ten, nine, eight down to seven cubics, and their habitation was from the land of the children of Ammon to Mount Hermon, and the seats of their king and kingdom were Carnaim and Ashtaroth and Edria and Meshur and Beon. And the Lord destroyed them because of the evil of their deeds, for they were very malignant, and the Ammonites dwelt in their stead, wicked and sinful. And there is no people today which has wrought to the full all their sins, and they have no longer length of life on the earth. And Jacob sent away Laban, and he departed into Mesopotamia, the land of the east, and Jacob returned to the land of Gilead. And he passed over Jabbok in the ninth month, on the eleventh thereof. And on that day Esau, his brother, came to him, and he was reconciled to him, and departed from him unto the land of Seir. But ja Jacob dwelt in tents. And in the first year of the fifth week in this jubilee, he crossed the Jordan and dwelt beyond the Jordan. And he pastured his sheep from the sea of the heap unto Bethshan, and unto Dothan, and unto the forest of Akrab, excuse me, Akrabbib, Bim, <laughs> Akrabbin. And he sent to his father Isaac of all his substance, clothing and food and meat and drink and milk and butter and cheese, and some dates of the valley, and to his mother Rebekah also four times a year, between the times of the month, between plowing and reaping, and between autumn and the rain season, and between winter and spring, to the tower of Abraham. For Isaac had, had returned from the well of the oath, and gone up to the tower of his father Abraham, and he dwelt there apart from his son Esau. For in the days when Jacob went to Mesopotamia, Esau took to himself a wife, Mahalath, 
the daughter of Ishmael. And he gathered together all the flocks of his father and his wives, and went up and dwelt on Mount Seir, and left Isaac his father at the well of the oath alone. And Isaac went up from the well of the oath, and dwelt in the tower of Abraham his father on the mountains of Hebron. And there Jacob sent all that he did send to his father and his mother from time to time, all they needed. And they blessed Jacob with all their heart and with all their soul. He was honoring his father and mother. Let that be a good example for us to follow, right? I wish I had known that when my parents were still alive. I didn't know that part of the Bible. I didn't really know the Bible then. But had I known, I would have certainly cared for my mother. My father had already passed away. But that hurts me that I didn't provide for my mom. And I could have. I was making tons of money. Wasn't always this uh, woman of low income. <laughs> but God has provided everything I have ever needed. I have not wanted for anything in my life. Ever. I've been very blessed. And as always, I'm so happy to be back. I love you guys.